Voters in Iowa have spoken on primary election day, narrowing down the playing field ahead of the November election. We are sharing the results for multiple races with a specific focus on North Iowa. So let's break that down. We're starting off with a contested race for Iowa Senate District 30. This morning, it is still too close to call. As Republican incumbent Waylon Brown is being challenged by Doug Campbell, Brown took office in January of last year. The winner of that nomination goes on to face Democratic candidate Richard Lawrence in November. This district includes Mason City and Osage. And our Olivia Pranzinski has been following this race closely. She had the chance to speak with one of the candidates and has the latest on this for Mason City. I'm here in Mason City where the Sierra Gordo County Auditor says that voter turnout was as expected but still on the low side. One precinct I visited said that they only saw about 200 voters all day. Now I did have the chance to speak with one candidate for the state Senate District 30 seat and we have reached out to all of them. But today I spoke with Richard Lawrenson who says that Iowans are ready for a Democrat in that seat. The district covers parts of Sierra Gordo, Mitchell, Worth and Floyd counties. Lawrence is the Democrat candidate in he is ran unopposed. When I asked him what issues he thinks Iowans are most concerned about this election cycle, he said it's education. According to Lawrence, education took a big hit this past legislative session. The biggest item on the ballot in November is going to be education. And I think today starts that process. Education is going to be so important because education took such a hard hit this last session down in Des Moines that we need to make sure that we have people that support education come November get elected so that way it doesn't take another hit. Lawrence is in the running for the state Senate seat against two other Republican candidates, current Senator Waylon Brown and Doug Campbell. We have reached out to them to hear more about their campaigns, but have not heard back. And the Sierra Gordo County Auditor said that everything ran smoothly here from all of the precincts. In Mason City, Olivia Pranzinski, KTDC News. Thanks, Olivia. Meanwhile, it is a contested race on the Republican side for Iowa State Representative for District 60. There's no Democrat in this race. Incumbent Jane Bloomingdale beating out John Rosenfeld. District 60 covers Clear Lake and St. Ansgar. In the race for the U.S. House of Representatives District 4, Republican incumbent Randy Feenstra is moving on to the general election in November after beating out opponent Kevin Virgil. The, this district here covers the western border of the state. And on the Democratic side, for District 4, Ryan Melton is running unopposed, which means he automatically advances. Looking at races for county sheriff in North Iowa, Sarah Gordo County Sheriff Kevin Powell says he will not seek re-election. Republican candidate David Hepperly coming out on top over Matt Clunder. Hepperly will look to run against Democratic primary winner Brian Koob. He ran this race unopposed, punching his ticket forward. Voters in Worth County weighing in on their next sheriff, as Dan Fink, the current sheriff, is not seeking re-election. There were no candidates listed on the Democratic ballot. However, on the Republican side, a landslide win for Jesse Luther over Chad Wurzel.